We are joined now with Brian Copena, who's the owner of Moonlight Meadows. Brian, you know I'm a big fan of yours. Every Saturday, I was always at his stand at the uh, farmer's market because you guys have some really creative, beautiful um, pastries that you guys come up with. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, so we're making pavlovas today. Can you explain what they are and maybe a little bit of how folks can make them at home? This is actually a classic Australian dessert that was invented by a Russian pastry chef in Australia over a century ago. It's hugely popular there. But this is just a baked Italian meringue shell. You can also do a French meringue, which a lot of us have the same ingredients that we need for it at home, which is just egg whites and powdered sugar, basically. A um, little Not cream of tartar. But and you whip it together, right? Is that how that works? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's just kind of like if you're, you're just whipping your egg whites to get them to you know, stiffen up like that, and then you just pipe it and then bake them off. Okay, so let's get started. What should we do first? First of all, what do we have with us and what should we start doing? So we've got our shells that we've already baked ahead of time. Then we also have a whipped vanilla bean mascarpone cream. We like to do that just because it's not as sweet. It's just a straight up whipped cream. We also have some raspberry jam with a little bit of lemon zest and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And then we have a whole bunch of garnishes here from candied cranberries to raspberries to strawberries to some Argentinian pine berries. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Should we start with the, this is the mac mascarpone you were uh, saying? We're going to start with the jam, actually. The jam, yep. okay. So here's the Thank raspberry you. jam. Yes. And then, yeah, just grab the end of your piping bag, and you just want to put, like, maybe like a half an inch of filling in the bottom of there of jam. Ooh, okay. Okay. And then after you got your jam in there, you're going to grab your mascarpone cream. And same thing, grab it by the back, and then you're just going to fill it Start in the middle and work your way out and just kind of make like a little, almost like you're making an ice cream sundae. Yeah. Very cute. So, Brian, you and your wife actually just went full time with Moonlight Meadows. Um, can you tell me briefly, like, how you guys came to that decision and how it's been? Yeah, we just kind of been on the precipice of making a larger decision of, you know, going further into what our passion is, which we're really passionate about food and, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun this summer um, with the local farmer's markets. We've been doing some catering as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely lots of fun, and we appreciate cuisine, and we love sharing it with, with other people. So. They come up with the most creative things, guys. Like, you know, the macaroons that you guys always have, putting, like, um, nerd candies in there sometimes, or, like, the, the jams and all that kind of fun stuff. It's always, like, so exciting to see what you guys have every single week. Um, I put up their online shop because you guys have hot sauces. You guys obviously offer catering. You have some really good, like, thimbleberry multiple different kinds of jams. Oh, yeah. So you can go on to moonlightmeadows.shop to get some of those. Um, to contact Moonlight Meadows, you can also, uh, I put up the Instagram and Facebook, but it's Moonlight Meadows, or yeah. Instagram is moon.lightmeadows. Yep. Okay, very cool. What would you say, this looks beautiful. I feel like I just put a bunch of sugared cranberries on mine. I think you guys did great. I think it yeah? looks awesome. Oh, yeah. look at that, Tia. So pretty. It's wonderful. I think we're oh, going to have to so munch on this during the break. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for coming in thank and you. letting us decorate some pavlovas. Thank you for having me. Oh.